up, Scar Knight, bringing you Pokemon Crystal Deadlock Part 15. In the last part, we took care of the gym leader known as Price and got ourselves our 7th gym badge, as you may see right here. And, uh, yeah. That's what it looks like. We got one more to go, and uh, we do know that we're gonna go be heading to the eighth gym leader. But the thing is, if you go over here and look at the radio, you'll see that there's a couple of weird things going on. As you can see, Ahem, we are Team Rocket. After three years of preparation, we have risen again from the ashes like a phoenix. Giovanni, can you hear? We did it. Where is our boss? Is he listening? Yeah, so, and that starts over. Um, and all the radio stations, pretty much. With background music and all. Not Buena's password. Maybe, maybe Team Rocket figured out that Buena's password is simply password, and they, that's how they took care of, uh, the radio station. But, yeah. There's also not many radio stations to begin with so that's a bit weird um but yeah that's what happened in the last episode and in this episode we have no choice but to go to goldenrod city to take care of it so let's go introduce the pokemon again it acts weird when it comes to the uh the uh, hack and i have to I think I'm gonna show that one day. I was gonna do it this episode, but um, yeah. Uh, I still want to still use the same team. Like that's that's the preference, cause sometimes it just changes completely. But I will show it soon. Uh, but we got Shino, the seal, the shiny seal, Growl, Roar, Beam, Breast, and Takedown. Clefable, Thrash, Double Slap, Metronome, Light Screen. Venomoth with Leech Life. Stun Spore, Gust, and Side Beam. Hopip with Sleep Powder, Leech Seed, Cotton Spore, Mega Drain. And Coughing with Self Destruct, Sludge, Smoke Screen, and Haze. And also Kenya the Quilavo, Smoke Screen, Ember, Quick Attack, and Flame Wheel. Well, those are all the Pokemon. And it's a bit of a shame because I don't think anybody could fly. Like a Venomoth and Hopit, because like it's a bug with wings, and the other one is a flying type, but I guarantee neither of them could fly. So I'm in the wrong pocket there. But let's see if uh, somebody could fly. For those that don't know though, a vet lock pretty much randomizes my whole party. Uh Every single time I battle, as you can see right here, I'm gonna go take a step over. I don't know, you shall see for yourself. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, just, I haven't battled this dude yet. Um, I sometimes use him to, to see if I can, uh, you know, to see if the randomization works. I literally thought my game just froze because the, the black screen's still there. A little bit longer than I needed to. Uh, but yeah, like, we'll see if we can get ourselves a, another flying Pokemon because I'm not a battle walker. Uh, sweet sense. Uh, it's either Bloom or Hopip again. That's a bell sprout. Okay. So yeah, that's what I mean. Every time I battle, it randomizes the team. Which is really, really cool. I probably don't have a flying Pokemon. I didn't see it on my party if I did. But yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. I have two Croconaws. What? I could swear I did. Or am I imagining things? I don't know. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do another battle because clearly, clearly no one wants to fly. Unless Shelby could like Boomerang over there, but I'm afraid that we're gonna get Boomerang back or something. I don't know. Alright, but I do want to go feature a video for today. Today's featured video would be the challenges. Uh, basically, oh, that looks like a flying Pokemon, but is it Crobat? Because he's the other one that could fly. It's a Goldbat. He looks a bit different, quite honestly. Let's read this. I I'm not going to be able to fly today, am I? This is going to take a hot minute. A hot minute. Could Goldbat fly? I really don't think he can, because uh, I did mention it a long time ago, but I did have like a Brock and Misty team before, and yeah, Goldbat doesn't want to fly, but Crobat can't. I don't think he's going to evolve, though. But as I was saying, there is uh, a feature video where I wanted to introduce the challenges. Where was I found here? I didn't know that. I feel like Miles was only found, uh, in like, very few places. I guess he is found here. I, I think he, I know him for being found in, uh, Mount Mortar. Oh, actually, I didn't even check my Pokemon. What am I doing? Uh, I don't think I have flying Pokemon anyway, unless this is a Dragonite. Oh, motherfuck. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to cut. Okay. Can we get... A flying Pokemon, please? That was my own fault, though, to be honest. We do have, like, another Beastmon in Armageddon. Pineco. Voltorb. Oh, we have another Dragonite. That's that's pretty good. Alright. 
Well, now that we have a flying mon, I might have to fast forward that. Let's go introduce the the video for today. So, like I mentioned, it is the challenges that I want to introduce. I did a whole bunch of challenges with almost every Let's Play that I had done, and uh, we'll show it in a second. Right? I okay. Well. I mean, that's fine. I don't think I'm gonna use him to battle anyway. But, uh, let's go, uh, what am I doing? Let's go introduce the video right about now. Yeah, 1919. Beat my time. Challenge to all. Bring it on. I want to do it. Look at that trick. Let's do an instant replay right there, please. Con los terroristas. Okay, so yeah, that was the video. Um, and there's some challenges that are coming up actually. There's the 700 video special and maybe we'll get soon the 800 subscriber special as well because that is coming up. Uh, I'm only like less than 15 away for 800 and uh, yeah, that'll be kind of cool. I don't know why they don't do anything. Take over the radio tower? What? It's none of your business. And they're not gonna stop me, and yet they're standing outside the building. So this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest scram? What do you what? What do you mean, like, oh, this is the radio tower? Didn't you guys already invaded this place? Like, I don't think I could avoid this dude, but there. We finally taken over the radio tower. Now everyone will get to experience the true terror of Team Rocket. We'll show you how scary we are. I don't, I, I really can't imagine this place is really even hard to take over, like, I imagine that radio stations have, like, like, two security guards or something, right? You know, some places even have one, like, when I was working, there was just always one security guard, and they, like, swap in and out. I just realized I shouldn't go to Shino, so let's go switch to someone else. Uh, I don't remember who Kenya is, but I'm gonna switch into Kenya because you shouldn't be able to hit me. Then again, I may not even be able to hit you back. So that's a problem that I didn't really think about. Yeah, I don't think I could hit him. Let's just confuse Rayum. Just for now. <sighs> so, yeah, I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. Pretty much. Like, how am I gonna be able to take care of you? I fully have sleeping moves. Um. I mean, I really wanna switch back, but I really don't wanna attack with Shino. Who is Legacy again? Let's just switch into him. Let's just find out the hard way. I mean, he is level 24. He shouldn't be too much of a threat. It's, uh, Lick a Tongue. Alright, well. That's not too much of a problem. Man, this Team Rocket guy is really having a bad day. He's faster than a level 4? He must be using Quick Attack. <laughs> he really is hitting himself. Oh, I feel bad for him. Okay. Good old experience for them. I mean, I wish it was a bit more... Like how Kenya got a little bit more than that. Okay. Hopefully this episode is a little bit less than an hour, because I really don't want to do another hour special. But the Team Rocket stuff does take a little bit, because like I mentioned the last episode, that took me a while. So, um, let's just try to go for a takedown then. I don't know why he compels to, to lower my speed when he's already faster, as I'm 9 levels over him. But I guess that's just what he wants to do. So that's fine. I don't think a rapid spin, uh, rapid spin would kill, so I have to do that. I mean, he might do an extreme amount of damage if he just hyperfangs, but he refused to do it, so... What are you gonna do? Alright, well that's it for him. Too strong, we must watch you! Um, let's not. I appreciate it. 
Anyway, what's our next Pokemon? We got Shino the Horsey. Lear Water Gun Twister. Pinsir. Okay. Politoed. Spiro. Drowsy. Cyndaquil. Oh, that's really good. Dude, you've been Kenya. Like, you literally been every form. Like, all that's missing is, is uh, Typhlosion or whatever. Why would they want to take over the radio tower? Okay, you have to listen to the radio to figure that out, alright? Hey, Bueno, what's the password? Huh? Today's password? Help, of course! Oh, alright, well... Okay, uh, <laughs> he's calling. Alright, so the code is help? Uh, I thought I would be able to fit there. Ha ha ha! How boring it was! Far too easy to take over this place! Come on, keep me amused! But that's what I mean, like... It, it, it's not worth it. Like, there's better ways to communicate, like... A, I, I mean, Giovanni may not even listen to the radio, like... I, I know if people were looking for me, the radio is definitely not the way to go. Like, I listen to the radio only when I'm driving. Uh, when I was younger, like, I definitely was like, you know, listening to the radio like around nighttime, like I just had a phase and you know, upon months I was listening to them. But nowadays, yeah, it's just only when I'm driving and that that's like less than, uh, what, like 30 minutes or so? I don't even know. It just depends. Like, you know, I listen it a bit more often when I was working, but since I'm not, the more likelihood is that you won't uh, have me listening to the radio. You would have to be really, really lucky the day I do. And I'm not really sure how long Team Rock has been here. It almost seems like this is day number one. So if it's just one day, if I, you know... Who, who are you? If I, like, invade their invasion, so... It just proves how dumb this plan is. You know? My cargo. I really like the blue fire and the... <laughs> that's really cool. Alright, I really love the earthquake too. Like, that's so cool. That, that's just really cool that he learns that by level up. Alright, what's really not cool is this fucking Magikarp. Butterfree, okay. Haunter. Haunter. Pika! Alright. Oh, this Pikachu had Thunderbolt, though. That's good. Alright, I'm not gonna heal, and I don't... I have to battle one of these two. I guess I'll battle you, it's fine. Hey, hey, keep out of our way! Alright, sir. Like, what is your problem? Like, y explain to me, dude. Uh, so... I mean, what would be a good way of communicating with them? Like, I'm pretty sure they know Giovanni's family, like, if he has any, because we all know that he does. But how well do they know? Because, like, if you remember Fire Red and Leaf Green, they did hint it. But it was post-game, so maybe not every Team Rocket member knows, but like a very few of them. So maybe Giovanni kept it under wraps. So I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I, I kind of want to know what you guys think about that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did question of the day with this series. I don't know why I'm forgetting. I'm pretty sure I always do. But I think that's the question of the day, uh, if there isn't any. I'll just put it in anyway. Let's go like, what do you guys think is the best way of communicating? Like, do you think maybe Balloon or something? Uh, I know on Hard Gold and Soul Silver, there is like a... Not really DLC, but like an event. Uh, it, it was like a certain period of time where this was out. Where you could actually battle Giovanni and he's in... Tojo Falls. I was trying to remember the name. But he was in there and he battled and he had like a hunch crow and like, it was really cool. He looked like a straight up mafia member. Or to give up. But yeah, that that is really cool. And uh... 
I guess a balloon wouldn't be the best way of doing it if he's indoors. So I don't know. Maybe they just lost his number, because I feel like there is a way that you could just call him or something. But I'm pretty sure in the, uh... I didn't even check my Pokemon. Three years ago, Team Rocket was forced to disband, but we're making a comeback here. I'm pretty sure in the event, Giovanni actually did listen to the radio at this point, so I guess it isn't impossible. And he was planning to get back as the event played out. Uh, it's a bit weird because he heard it a bit late because we don't get to Tocho Falls till like, I don't know, like another hour of gameplay or whatever, but interesting nonetheless. Let's just roll out. Oh, you know what? I didn't... I didn't check my Pokemon at all. Like, at all, at all. So if you see that my Pokemon team didn't change from the from the last battle, then... There you go, I'm sorry. But it will change after this battle, because I will be checking my Pokemon. Wherever they may be. Whoever it may be. Alright, level 34, though. That's good. It's trying to learn Body Slam. Uh, should it learn Body Slam in this battle alone? I think so. Let's get rid of Disable for Body Slam. There you go. Body Beam, Bada Boom. Two more Pokemon. Um, I mean, I could look at my Pokemon, but I won't be able to look at their stats, I think. So, I guess we could try. Looks like a Geodude of some kind. And some field mon and some fighting mon. See, cause damn it, I just did it. That's what I was worried about. If I, <laughs> if I just uh, switch into the wrong Pokemon, that's fine. Like I was gonna kill him anyway. It's another rollout mon. Let's look, just let's look at the Pokemon now. I don't feel right not doing it, or else the party wouldn't change. It was Golem, Nidoran, Primeape. Another Nidoran. Wow. I'm having doubles today. Okay. That's completely fine, dude. At least I managed to look at all the Pokemon, you know? Level 41. Level 41? This next Pokemon is Muck. Alright, let's go back to the Pokemon that we've been trying to train. Actually, so I'm trying to think for the eighth gym leader coming up. What should I? Because I don't remember the levels. It might be, I'm gonna say either 48 or not 48. Sorry, that I meant to say 45. Or it could just be 40 itself. So maybe I would have to train my Pokemon at level 45. I'm pretty sure her ace was 40. Unless I'm just... No, it has to be 40. There's no way it's 45. Because I'm pretty sure that's a leap 4 level. Like, shit, pretty much. Hmm. Perhaps. Okay. The thing about Shiny Jigglypuff, though, is just her eyes is the real difference. Because she has a certain shade of pink. Like, let me just show her right quick. Oh, sorry, him. Yeah, light green eyes. Alright, let's finish it off with the body slam. This battle took a little bit longer than anticipated. Because this dude has, like, really defensive moms for no reason. Okay, well, that's it for that grunt. Wow, don't get cute! Don't tell me to get cute. What the f. What the heck, dude? I had to battle that dude no matter what, though. So we got ourselves. That threw me off. Like, my my brain just span in three different directions. I was like, Nidorino? Like, <laughs> it was the exact same coloration as Nidorino. That's really cool. Lapras. Sanshrew. Pinsir. Swine up. Wigglytuff. Okay. 
We do need to heal our Pokemon because I'm not about that life. Super potions. I'm so glad I got like plenty, plenty of them. Just plenty of them. Oh my god. Just plenty of them. Alright, let's continue onward. Oh, this is a... I really want to avoid some of these people. I'm pretty sure that guy up there facing to the right has a self-destruct mod if I remember. Uh, I don't know why I remember, but I, I think I do. Like, I think they call him the wall of Team Rocket or something. Okay, I know this girl doesn't battle. Son of a gun! We have to battle too no matter what. Or do we? Whatever. Damn it! I was so hoping that that would work. An unknown child wandering here. Who are you? Uh, it doesn't matter. Who am I, dude? Like, does it? If I just say my name is is Mary McShire, you wouldn't give a shit. So it's uh, like you just want me out of the building, dude. Like, there's no point of asking. I completely forgot that I had Nirene on my team. Uh, steel type, so weak against steel. Or, uh, fighting, sorry. That's what I meant. This should KO no problem, except the fact that you didn't die. Very shameful. Very shameful. Not okay. Alright, let's see how far we could get, though. Alright, next person, Magnemite. I'm kind of surprised that they all lived, like, pretty well. Okay. Ah, uh, this guy took it better than the last Magnemite. What the heck? <sighs> what else am I thinking, though? Like, I, I don't know, like... I'm still trying to think of ways that are better to communicate with Giovanni. It is interesting though that he was willing to get it back. And especially with like 7th gen where he did essentially bring it back, but I'm not 100% sure if it was like an alternate universe thing. Because there are theories about that. And I do believe that's when all the villain leaders successfully defeated the main character or something, and then they all formed a team together, known as Rainbow Rocket. I'm pretty sure that's how it went. But I don't know, because I haven't done it. Um, because my... Uh, I'm being stubborn with it, and, and I want to... Because, like, right now, I'm, like, battling the battle tree, and I don't have the right Pokemon to beat it, because I want to face uh, two certain people. Well, I guess one. Because that, I don't know. I'm sure people that play that game knows what I'm talking about. I don't want to say it because I feel like that will uh, break immersion. I don't know what the right word is. The phrase. <laughs> I took you too lightly. Alright, what's our Pokemon now? You know, this lady could have helped me just blocking the path. I would have been able to go. That's what Shiny Scyther looks like? There's like some red s spots here and there. That's interesting. Hmm. Dragonair. Marip. Butterfree. Ladyba. Nidorino. <laughs> How does Nidorino look more like the actual Nidorino from the anime? That's so weird. Um. Yeah, like I my my OCD is forcing me to uh, 
do the battle tree before I do Rainbow Rocket because I was playing Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon simultaneously. I've been given strict orders. I'm to crush any who challenges Team Rocket. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm like, I'm like trying to gather my thoughts because I'm almost certain Giovanni like was willing to go back. He just disbanded it because he was really disappointed on how, you know, how Red beat him the first time. I'm not used to Shiny Scyther. Like, I didn't think he looked like this. I thought all of his green would be a different color, you know? Not just, like, some parts that used to be green already was just turned to red. You know, that was the last thing I thought. But I guess I was wrong. I guess I was wrong. I'll be real, I don't know how long this episode, uh, this episode went for. Like, I don't know where I fast forwarded or where did I even begin because I, I was trying to get this hack to work. And I'm just not sure. I'm pretty sure I'm at like 26 minutes or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. But we might end it soon because, like I said, like Prism lately, there's been like a lot of long episodes because I am in the post game on that. And I want to do that pattern where it's like gem, legendary, gem, legendary, or something related to legendary. Because right now, I don't have to go as far as I, I've been doing. Because, like, in the beginning of the series, I've been like really booking it with the speed by what like one episode I was facing Faulkner the next episode I was fighting Bugsy and I was almost sure that it was gonna be at least an episode in between then face Bugsy but no it took like no time at all and I was a bit shocked by that all right where is our team now sir victory bell with blue lips uh, don't quote me on that. Lick a tongue. <laughs> Spiro. A lot of Spiros today. Oh, sweet cone. A lot of Spiros today. Um, Magnemite. At least, like, th I don't know why I'm thinking Spiro all up in my head. I probably only saw him once in this episode. I just feel like I've been seeing him a lot in this series. That guy didn't say he was the wall of Team Rocket, does he? I think I was thinking of a guy nearby the stairs somewhere. Can I avoid the scientist? I think the scientist, I remember having a Porygon. Most excellent! This radio tower will fulfill our ground design! Hmm. Scientist rich. Yep, with the Porygon. There's just, like, some trainers I just remember everything. And some trainers I don't. Like, I got that last guy mixed up. Um, thinking that he was the fortress of Team Rocket. I think it's another guy that's by the stairs. So you can kind of understand where I got that wrong. But yeah. Okay, what is he converting to? Steel type? Mother of God. Let's try... I'm just gonna razor leaf again. I'm just gonna do that. It's gotta resist. There's. Oh, that did pretty. Oh, critical hit. Lovely. I almost sleep powdered him and then just try to keep attacking him, but. There was no difference. He would have. I would have ended up getting disappointed because he would have woke up too soon and questioned my life when it comes to sleep powder. Hmm. All grand plans come with sa snags. Snags? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I got a lot of clam Pokemon, what? Oh, Pupitar looks really cool, it's shiny. Jolteon. I just remember what I was gonna say, too. Kingler, and Kingler, and Kingler, and yet Kingler. Let's try it again. We got Kingler, Legend, and Kingler Legacy. Okay! And Golem. That's just in case you were wondering, those two clan Pokemon, the, the, I had those because they're the same Pokemon. I getcha. Alright. Let's continue a little bit. And, uh, I believe 
this is not who it seems to be. But as soon as I go up ahead, actually I need to heal my Pokemon. We have seen this person before though. Well, at least that's uh, what Harko and Soul Silver claims. Alright, let's do it. Y you you came to rescue me! Yeah, I'm not falling for it, dude. Is that what you were expecting? Yes. Cause I know you're you're scam, dude. So this guy's petrol, he was the same guy that was disguised in uh the Lake of Rage, like what was that place called? Oh, I'm forgetting. I don't know why. Sin... Sinewood... Olivine... I am forgetting the name. Where the price was. I was there this episode, in that secret spot. But yeah. WRONG! I'm an imposter. I pretended to be the real thing to prepare for our takeover. Do you want to know where we hid the real director? Sure, I'll tell you, but only if you can beat me. But yeah, we have faced this guy before. He's an executive. But I don't know if Gold Silver Crystal uh, really is making him to be the same character. I don't know if that was planned for, because I feel like in Heart Gold Soul Silver they did make changes to accommodate uh, what makes sense. And I think they did a good job about it because, you know, having a person disguised as Giovanni in, in the in the spot that I for some reason can't remember. I think it was a genius idea, honestly. Like, having having that and then the Murkrow knowing the password and him not telling you it. I think it's really smart. Um, and for this one, you know, he's disguised as the director. I'm not sure why, because we all know Team Rocket took over the place. Maybe because, like, you would think that the director was just locked in the room or whatever. That one smug screen really blinded the shit out of me, huh? That's disappointing. Okay. Well, let's try another rock slide. Something else I was thinking of is, uh... Because, you know, in the last episode I had a shiny Moltres. I want to hold off on the shiny legendaries maybe till... I don't know. I don't feel like it's time yet, because uh, for people that are just going to be binge-watching the series, I don't want it to spoil immediately. Like, they see one episode, it's like, oh, I have to catch uh, Red Gyarados or whatever, and the next episode you see my side of the screen with the shiny Pokemon, then you know, like, and the thunder's like, oh, he ends up catching this thing. I don't know if you know what I mean, but I feel like if you see it on a playlist, that will kind of uh, spoil uh, for me catching it, so that's why. What I mean is it's because it was the episode after the fact. Last episode is where it was Shiny Moltres, and then the episode before that is when I caught Shiny Gyarados, is what I mean. So I'm just holding off till that happens. And I'm really surprised on this battle so far, because he has yet to self-destruct. And I am, I was almost sure that that was going to happen. And I'm also surprised that I've been flinching him. Well, this is the second time it happened, but I'm surprised that came across as well. Okay. Cuffing got taken out. Three, oh my god, you have a lot of Pokemon, dude. Another coughing. Okay. Let's do another rock slide. And I missed. Okay. Last rock slide. Make it count as a crit, dude. Please. Nope, I missed. <sighs> He's gonna poison me, isn't he? You know, honestly, I forgot the rest of my Pokemon were. And it, I don't know why I never processed them in my brain. What did process in my brain, I had a feeling I was gonna get poisoned. I feel like I could thrash and kill him. Then I'll get poisoned and confused. I, I can't rely on it. This might be a bad idea. This might be a really bad idea. Because if he does use explosion, that might be enough to kill with poison chipping away. This is annoying. I'm missing thrash. Um. 
Oh, I'm still stuck on thrash even if I miss, huh? I guess it doesn't work like how rollout does it, but like continuous moves like pedal dance. For some reason I thought if it missed it would break the chain. Wheezing. Okay, I'll stay in and I'll switch out to something else. I need to switch out to something that could resist an explosion or else one of my Pokemon will die. So, uh, who that Pokemon may be, I have no idea. We're gonna have to look over that. Jolteon can't live one. Cyndaquil, they don't think could live one. Uh, the two Kinglers might be able to. Especially if I harden. Oh, this guy. I think this guy's the way to go. Levitate is not in this gen. Not just yet. Not yet. I should be able to do this. I swear to god, if he poisoned me. I will break all of your pencils on your desk, sir. I don't think you understand. <sighs> Imagine if I click self-destruct by accident, I'll go ballistic. Oh my god. Alright. All right, there we go, there we go. Sweet. And then one more Pokemon. Coughing. Part of me is tempted to... to put Shiny Nidorina, though. Part of me. I think I might. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go switch into Kenya. Yet again, not one coughing or the wheezing self-destructed. I am shocked. Completely and utterly shocked, to be perfectly honest. Because every time I battle him in the history of me battling him, he always self-destructs or explodes. So I am really surprised and, and just, yeah, completely shocked at the fact that he didn't. Alright, Rocket Executive was defeated though. Okay, okay, I'll tell you where he is. Alright. We stashed the real director in the underground warehouse. It's at the far end of the underground, but I doubt you'll get that far. We got the basement key. Alright. Cool! Okay, I think I thought he said something different, but. I was at the far end in, in the underground, but I dodged to make it that far. Okay, I thought he was gonna say something different uh, towards the end there, but I guess not! Is this who I think it is? Oh, it's Shiny Magmar. I thought for a second it was me too. I would've went insane. We got unknown the letter G. Charizard. Espeon. Geodude. And Diglett. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do, because in the next episode I wanna show this off. And not only that, I wanna Oh Christ, I forgot I'm poisoned. Uh do I have antidotes. So I'm gonna do this on screen and in the next episode I'll show off the method of how I have this hack working because I really want to show this off because sometimes when I boot up the hack it works in different ways where it changes my team entirely and sometimes it doesn't like it would just keep my team and then it would be able to randomize uh, with the team I had in the last state so you'll see on screen look I'm gonna put uh, safe state, uh, I'll put it on this one, and then I'll put it again on this one, because I always like to have two safe states, and I also like to save the game, so when I boot up the, the hack, there you go, <laughs> 176 hours, it's not really true, because I've been speeding up and uh, training and all that. 251 Pokemon though, I gotta go hit up Professor Rogue about that. See, see what he says, but yeah. 
So if you like this episode, don't forget to press that like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. If you haven't considered subscribing yet, please watch you know one of my videos. I played the video games, and in the next episode, we will go to the underground to find the director and stop this whole invasion thing from happening in the radio tower. So I'll look forward to that, and white tigers and dragons to you, and you can scar by the night. I'm out. <laughs>